In this video, we are going to study about parallelogram law in an inner product space. So if I consider this parallelogram, say this parallelogram is A, B, C, D, then we know that if I add all the sides and squares of the all the sides, which I'm taking AB square, BC square, AC square, sorry, uh, CD square and AD square. So this is some of the squares of all the sides. That sum is the same as the squares of the diagonals. Means it is AC square plus BD square. But we know that AB and CD are congruent. So this will become 2AB square and BC is congruent to AD. So it will become 2BC square and it is equal to what? AC square plus BD square. This is what we are going to do in an inner product space now. So we are going to prove this law in an inner product space. So let me just write that. Suppose this is representing your vector u bar. This is ve representing your vector v bar. This diagonal, the longer diagonal here, represents the vector u bar plus v bar. And the, the diagonal BD here is representing U bar minus V bar. So it will say that this length, I know that this length is nothing but norm of U bar. And this length, the length of the vector V bar is norm V bar. Right. There's no square there. Let me remove that square. So this is norm of V bar. So parallelogram law says that AB square means norm U square taken two times means AB square and CD square plus two times the other side of the parallelogram which is norm V bar its square is same as the diagonal first diagonal square second diagonal square which is norm of U bar plus V bar its length square and norm of u bar minus v bar the square. So this is the parallelogram law for an inner product space. So now let us simply prove it. The proof is very easy. So I will start with the left hand side. So this is the law. I will start with the left hand side. I want to say I will start with the right hand side. So I will start with norm u bar plus v bar square plus norm u bar minus v bar square. And we know that norm of something square, if I write norm u bar square, it is actually inner product u bar u bar. So here I will write instead of this, I will write inner product of u bar plus v bar, comma u bar plus v bar inner product. Plus the same formula here, inner product of u bar minus v bar, comma inner product with u bar minus v bar. And I'm going to simplify this inner product now. So u bar with u bar and u bar with v bar. So it is inner product u bar u bar plus inner product u bar v bar plus inner product of v bar with u bar v bar u bar plus inner product v bar v bar plus now I'm going for this u bar with u bar and u bar with minus v bar. So it is u bar with u bar minus u bar with v bar. I've taken the negative side out. Then here minus of V bar U bar and plus inner product V bar V bar. You see here that U bar V bar and this minus U bar V bar cancels and V bar U bar with V bar U bar also cancels. And I'm getting that inner product U bar U bar plus inner product V bar V bar two times because this is again repeated here. So it is two. This is also two times and this is nothing but two norm u bar square and this is two into norm v bar square. So this is our left hand side. So we have proved the parallelogram law saying that two norm u bar square plus two norm v bar square is always equal to u bar plus v bar the longer diagonal square plus 
the shorter diagonal square, which is u bar by m c bar. So sum of the squares of all the sides equals the sum of the squares of diagonals. This is our parallelogram law, which we have just proved.